This is Charles Lloyd, and you're watching First Look. President of Blue Note Records, Charles Lloyd is one of the most innovative, visionary, and soulful artists of our time, I guess any time, really. And he's just released his latest record. It's titled, The Sky Will Still Be There Tomorrow. And I think that it's possible that at age 86, he's made the best album of his incredible career. Maestro, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, well, why keep doing it if it doesn't get better, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I won't. I don't want to bore myself. So, and, and I'm certainly not going to bore others. Yeah. You know. Well, you're certainly not boring us. I can tell you that. In fact, when you when you played me uh, these new songs for the first time, I remember uh, having a feeling of well being and comfort sweeping over it. I mean, I believe this music's got some serious healing properties, and and that's greatly needed in the world today. D tell us about how how you approach making music in tough times like these? The times are indeed tough, and they've always been tough in my lifetime. I, I, I thought when I was a youngster, by the time I reached an adult age, everything would be worked out. Now I come to realize that it's not politicians we need, it's sages, you know, selfless people doing service, you know, who care yeah. about the planet. Not all this self-serving stuff where these guys are pad in their pockets and stuff like that. And I'm always trying to uh, make a contribution and to make music that can touch hearts and, and elevate because music has always done that for me. You know, it's been my spiritual food. And uh, spiritual life is the reason we're here. And my best friend in high school told me when I got to New York, he said it's about character, you know. So I'm trying to stay on the good foot. You know, because it feels better and it enhances my creativity. And also I'm in service and I can make a music that can have uh, inspiration and consolation, which is what music always brought me. Right, right, right. Well, you, you mentioned your, your, your childhood friend from Memphis, and I assume you're, you're talking about the legend. I'm talking about Booker Little. Booker Little. But oh. tell, tell us a little about him and the, the song Booker's Garden that's on the record. Well, Booker Little, uh, we were the same age and we grew up together and we met as young teenagers, 13, 14, and uh, constant comment, something happened where we, we made this deep connection. When I first got to New York, after I had replaced Eric Dolphy with Chico Hamilton, and I was so happy to be there and I was blessed that Booker was playing down at Birdland that night. It was a Monday night. And I went out and I said, Booker, I'm here. He said, where are you staying? I said, I'm staying at the Alvin Hotel. He said, no, you're not. Go pack your bags. You're coming home with me. And he took me up his four-flight walk-up up on East 92nd between Lex and 3rd. And he began to dismantle me and to, uh, because he had been here. He had been in New York. He was playing with Max Roach. His hero was Clifford Brown. Clifford died at 25. And Booker came home. He was a year ahead of me in school. He went to Chicago Conservatory. And he came home at Christmas time. And he said, Cliff has gone. He was crying. And he said, why couldn't it have been me? Ah. Did you know that Coltrane asked him to join his quartet when he first started his quartet up, when, yeah. when he left Miles? I didn't know but that. No. First person he called was Booker. And Booker said, I'd love to do it, but my health uh, won't permit so a little while later, he brought Eric Eric Dolphy in, you know. But right. he was he would Booker was his man. Booker arranged all that music for Africa Brass. He did all the the brass arrangements and stuff. Yeah, wow. and Booker was a great musician. Coleman Hawkins even uh, uh, commissioned him to write a music for an octet. And when I was staying with Booker, I saw the score on on his uh, piano, and. The day of the recording is the day that Booker left town. Well, let's play a little bit of Booker's Garden. Please.
That's beautiful, man. That's Charles Lloyd, a song called Booker's Garden from his new album, The Sky Will Still Be There Tomorrow. Man, you, you've assembled an incredible band for this record. You've got Jason Moran and Larry Grenadier and Brian Blade. Tell us about the unique musical conversation that's going on here between the four of you. It was during the time of COVID when I had the conception that I wanted to bring these four people together in a room and make music because I had, it was, a, it took us two or three years because COVID came and then our schedules and all, all like that. So yeah, I had yeah. these beautiful spirits all together and we finally got, got the uh, alignment of the stars together and we, we met and it was just, uh, it was the Hyperions. It, it was walking on water stuff. You know, we, we just got, got blessed. And that music, I had some new music and, and some of my older pieces I needed to bring along to tell the story, you know, and it was just wonderful how it organically manifests. Mm -hmm. It's it's beautiful. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful album, man. And, Congratulations to you. It's Congratulations so to all those great artists who, who helped make it possible because uh, all those ingredients were, were the perfect ingredients. Mm -hmm. I, I had an intuition that this was the formation that I wanted to make this recording because I don't know now how many days the creator will keep me here. So I must continue to try to make a contribution and, uh, I still dream to change the world. I haven't done it yet, but the dream is better than uh, the status quo. <laughs> Most definitely. And I, I think this is some lasting music. People will be putting this on their turntable 200 years from now and <laughs> at the same time. Look, th thanks so much for being here today. It's always great to see you. Uh, thank you kindly. Likewise. likewise. Thank, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next and, time. And thank you. Thank you for for giving me such a warm welcome at Blue Note because uh -huh. everyone, all of your team has been uh, there for me and and I feel like I've not felt before. And I, I bow down and I, I thank you for your big spirit and your love of music. It's a beautiful uh -huh. thing. And you're sharing, you're sharing the deep music with people. Thank you, kindly. Thank you, man. We'll see you all next time on First Look. If you enjoyed First Look and would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button and also click the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when we post our next video.